Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. This is Torn Atkinson with your weekly dose of 20-minute monsters going through the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Fiend Folio from A to Z. Last week I did the letter M, Meme Locks. That was fun. And um, Meme Locks menacing a manly um, mountain mage. Today we are going to do the letter N. I had some votes for the Norker. I had some votes for the Nyko Demon. But the one that uh, struck me, that, let me turn my volume down just a bit, the turn uh, that uh, that struck me uh, and was suggested because it's so interesting and weird and meta and unusual is the Nilbog. But before we get to that, I have to tell you that I have a website, tornatkinson.com. Go to it. Find my artwork there. I'm, I'm selling original pencil and ink drawings from the history of Dungeons and Dragons that I that have been published in various books. Um, also, I have my YouTube, which is where right now I'm recording on Twitch TV, Torn Atkinson. And when I'm done, I'll be putting these onto YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram, Torn Atkinson Artist. And of course, if you like what I do, why not send me a dollar? One for as little as one-sixth of a cup of coffee per month you can support a real live living artist hey that's me all right so with that out of the way deleted we can get to the nilbog from the fiend folio I still feel my music's too loud <laughs> um yeah welcome uh to the nilbog it says i've seen some weird things here because it says um, they're very rare, but also they... No, oh, I don't know why. It's not letting me... Oh, I know why. There we go. It's very rare, but also 4 to 40 up here. I don't think that's correct. Um, it's 4 feet tall. The, this creature looks exactly like a normal goblin and has all the characteristics of that race. With one important exception, it suffers from a curious spatio-temporal reversal about how blurry my text is. It remains a mystery why uh, only goblins are susceptible to this strange disorder. Nilbogism appears to occur when overly heavy use of magic strains strains the fabric of the space-time continuum and leads to very strange localized events. Uh, extremely rare, imperfectly understood. Although the creature itself does not in any sense transmit the disorder to those around it, some of the effects are transmitted. Uh, accounts have been received about the nature of the space-time disturbances which take place in the presence of Nilbogs. The adventurers will have no control over their own actions and will generally pursue courses of action contrary to their normal intent. For example, they may feel an overwhelming compulsion to load all their treasure into an empty treasure chest in the Nilbog lair and leave empty-handed. There are no saving throws against these effects. <laughs> Another curious feature of Nilbog power is that the creature gains uh, hit points when it is struck, the addition being equal to the intended damage rolled. It can only lose hit points by such means as casting Cure Wounds spells on it. So it's kind of like a bizarro goblin, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the, uh, there was no um, illustration in the Fiend Folio for this creature, but it's the same as a normal goblin, so... What's the normal goblin look like? There's the normal goblin by David A. Tramp here uh, in the Monster Manual. And then, like we like to do, maybe I'll just uh, keep that handy in case I want to refer to it. And then, um, uh, this this is an illustration for fi uh, for a Nilbog in 5th edition. I guess they're in, like, Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Or, or uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, Marvin's Marvin's here. Hello, Marvin six one six eight eight. Fantastic, glad you're able to join us while you're working. And uh, yeah, so this Nilbog, they reintroduced it. Uh, they changed some of the how it works in fifth edition, but we're not going to concern ourselves with that. I do like this guy's hat. Um, so what I'm going to draw, I'm going to attempt to draw is a, uh, a Nilbog nerfing a knight and perhaps a gnome in a nave, which is, of course, the big part of the church. So let's uh, think of having him. Hmm, let's, let's just start drawing. It is uh, 10.06, so 10.26 is our target. 
where do some room and we'll have like I wanted him to be kind of like carrying like almost as if <laughs> they are uh, lovers or 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 a bride carrying over the threshold so I uh, actually did grab some reference material for that so maybe I'll make use of that reference material I like the I like how these ones are kind of leaning forward, so let's let's have them coming towards the viewer. Um, <laughs> yes. And so the mailbox arm will be there, looking, looking, lovingly. He's he'll be looking lovingly down, and uh, uh, he or she, I guess the maybe it's a she. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, we may never know. Um, we'll be looking up at him. Uh, I'm going to change the legs, though, so it's more of like coming. He's actually walking. So that is, that's our basic positioning for the characters. Let's make that eraser a bit bigger. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's week? I did a presentation yesterday. Um... Let's get that. Let's go ahead and draw the, the gnome. Maybe he's like, like they said in the, in the, excuse me, the description. Maybe the gnome is uh, trying to give treasure to the Nilbog. I don't know, there's a treasure chest toppled over. And let's move this. Let's move this over a bit. I don't need a lot more room for the nave in the background, but I think for now it's fine. This is fine. Um, yeah, I did a presentation. I did uh, what you would call a uh, a work, not a workshop, but a, maybe a tutorial. What is the what is the class of this gnome? There's no, I don't think there's any character classes that begin with N. Even the knight is not really a. I don't know. That's a gnome, and maybe there's like a toppled treasure chest over here. I don't know if there's going to be room for this treasure chest in the in the nave, but let's uh, let's figure out the nave. I have uh, off screen here, I have some pictures of naves. Oh, I wanna give someone a neckerchief. Maybe the, maybe the, uh, let's get, I, didn't draw, I didn't draw this guy's legs. So, I like the, <laughs> I like the leg kicking up there. Um, nave, the nave of a church. So there's gonna be lots of Things going up here. This will be the be able to see the flying buttresses, the buttress of Windsor, as Tenacious D once said. Uh, be, ooh, let's get those perspective lines straight. Mm, this should be more like this is this is this is just the sketch layer, so I'm not too worried. But we can get those flying buttresses. God. Drawing flying buttresses. That's not easy. And then, I don't know, some pews or something? I guess, I guess we might not. Maybe it's just a sack. Maybe it's a sack of gold. Okay. Red is not going to be our new drawing layer. We're going to switch to the navy color. Because it's a navy knight. All right, so let's start with the let's start with a knight. Um, yeah, I actually did. I I do have a knight's armor here somewhere. There we go. For reference, just so I can get. I do want him to have a cape or a cloak. So we'll draw that. We always start with a head, and we always draw too big, don't we? Don't we, class? Yes, we do. Oh yeah, speaking of class, yeah. So I did. Uh, there's a. There's an organ, uh, an, an, uh, uh, is an organization, a project, I guess you would call it, called uh, Eat Your Peas, which, um, uh, this is too big, I feel it's too big. Let's get it down to maybe 45. Okay. Oops. I don't want to, I'm not drawing on the wrong way. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, I'm drawing the wrong way. Put that at the top, maybe. And, um, yeah. 
He's got the goo-goo eyes looking down at the... <laughs> Let's save my work here. Seems to be a little bit of more of a lag than usual. Don't know why that is. We could have a... Is there a is there a facial uh, um, beard or mustache combination that begins with an M? I do like I do like the idea of having him. Um, I want to put him in a helmet though. So where does the helmet end? Let me see if I have a reference here. Oh, he's, oh yes, a, a quaff. He'll have the quaff. Come down, <laughs> and let's give him one of those. Uh, uh, Beck to Corbin? No, that's a. What do you call these? Pointy. I'm gonna be spending too much time in this armor. I can tell already. Um, this is Gorget. Not dopey looking enough. He's not. <laughs> let's let's take a look. Starstruck. That's fine. I think. Not just too much time. And let's uh, let's do our goblin face. Oh, goblin face, where are you? He's not going to have this outfit, that's for sure. Or maybe we'll put, maybe we'll put the goblin in the necktie. I want to. Did we look at? Uh, thought I had. No, I didn't. I guess I didn't put it. Let's, well, let's take a look at this goblin. He's got the big nose and the big ears. I just wanted to briefly. Yeah, I'll put. I'll just put this window in here. Oh. Nope. Where'd it go? I lost my window. There it is. The evolution of the goblin. Um, on uh, Tony Dicciolizzi's website, um, I was looking for. I always look for Tony Dicciolizzi's uh, version of these monsters. If there is one, uh, there is one. This is from the Monsters Compendium, I think, that he did. Um, not. Much. What did he say? He said, in the case of the illustration of 1994's Monsters Manual, I very crudely reinterpreted Dave Tramper's goblin. Mind fails by lacking any action or movement of its inspiration. Uh, but then it gets better as he goes on. Different versions, some for Magic the Gathering. But uh, yeah, so basically big nose, big ears, big teeth. I guess that's what the goblin looks like. So let's first let's get the let's get the center line going here. Some sultry eyes. <laughs> the big gobliny nose. <laughs> Some big eyebrows. I feel like his head's too big, but maybe that's fine because he's a goblin. Let's make it let's give him an underbite. Chin to speak of, and then the old pointy ears. That looks vaguely goblin enough, I think. Um, should be wearing a nightcap, a negligee. Uh, okay, so that's. Let's get this anatomy right now. The rest of his body is just normal, so I think we can get rid of that reference. Uh, Nick is here. Hello, Nick. Welcome, welcome. Maybe I'll make him make his head just a little bit smaller. Oh, I don't know why I'm... My lasso tools are in a different setting. Just a little bit smaller, like a baby. Maybe closer to his... Closer. Put their heads closer together for extra suggestive romance. Where's my... 
I need my threshold on my uh, <laughs> crossing the threshold draw like a cow. Uh, okay, so this would be the center line for this guy. Um, and then his. You can draw. It's the goblin. Maybe the goblin will be nude. A nude no bog. And, uh, yeah. That's okay, that's fine. Not a great hand, but. Information. We're listening to some, uh, uh, not uh, Hayao Miyazaki, Joe Hisaishi from his album. Put some hair or something on there? I don't know. Um, and then, so this is the knight's hand. It's basically copying what I see in the. So the shoulder would be here, and that would come down here. I'll have to draw the. I feel like his hand's too small, but whatever. For now, that's fine. Um, this would be the goblin's chest. This would be his flank. And then, <laughs> do I need to draw the 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 nilbogs? Hmm. Is there a word for genitals that begins with N? Sure, let's, let's, let's suggestion of the nards. <laughs> that begins with N. Alright, that's I think that's I'm gonna make our other layer just less visible so you guys can see what I'm actually drawing. Here's the Nilbog. Uh yeah, is the Nilbog done? So then his other arm would come down here. I feel like this I'm gonna have to change this hand because the nail bog is small. So let's do, so a shoulder would be here, and then something like that. And again, I'll have to draw that armor, but let's just get the structure of the anatomy down. There we go. That is, how's our proportions looking? Let's zoom out. Not terrible. Not terrible. I feel, I, feel, <laughs> I feel like that's okay. Um, we'll get to our gnome later if we have the time. How are we doing for time? Ten nineteen. Okay. Uh, we want. What did Simon just want me to say? Ten twenty six. I I, like, I can't even remember. All right. So let's draw the armor of this guy. And he's gonna have a cape. That's right. That's some kind of a cape there. All right. So we got our. Knees. I'll just draw them. Somewhat simplified. Or uh, baldric. Is that what it's called? Information. Uh, oh, I'm started drawing the Neobog's legs as if they were a chest. Let's just do a meteor line around. Uh, some ribs in there. Scapula. And then where's this? Oh yeah, where's this other arm going around? Do we see the other arm? Let me go back to my... Kind of, yeah. So it should be... Oh, I was drawing on the wrong layer. Again. Let's grab that. X. V. Let's merge those two. And uh, the other arm of the Nilbog would be coming around I don't like I don't like his chin let's make his chin pointier <laughs> oh dear sultry little more eyelashes <laughs> um yeah what was I drawing his arm Something like that. Put some hair on it. And let's get back to the armor. I guess the cape, the cloak, where does it start from? Oh, he's got it starting from kind of a weird place, but uh, 
Let me draw this hand. It's bothering me. Information. His hands. Where's our hands? What do you call them? Bracers. to draw something like that something like that let's put some suggestion of a shadow here ba -ba -ba -ba. And a little, forget, forget what you call that muscle but a naked nilbog a maybe naked nilbog okay that's our let's put some hair on his legs because why not to really emphasize the nudeness of it. And uh, I feel like our night is, is our night done already? Let me just fix this part up here. Should he have a, I guess he should have a, like a belt and a sword or something. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, so this will be the cloak and uh, pointy. That's art, friends. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, that is. I think that's our night. What do you guys think? Something like that. Uh, feel like what's happening here? Let's just cover that up with <laughs> shade. So we don't have to draw it. Okay. Little drawing tips. All right. So that's our night. Let's get... Do we want it? Do we have time for our... We don't really have time for our gnome. But let's just draw him anyway. Make him very cartoony. And then we can get to the nave. I mean to... Yeah, the nave. should be like a wizard or something. Let's give him a nightcap. Uh, yep. And uh, he's got... The thumbs would be out. He's giving them... Maybe there's a, like a necklace or something. He's giving him the... He looks like a child. <laughs> Maybe if I give him some... A little, uh... What do you call that? What do you, what do you call that? Some sideburns. A little less like a... Alright. And he's just wearing... I feel like he's too close! He's too close! Get him away! Maybe he should be smaller in the distance, too. We are running out of time, my friends. We are running out of time. Uh, he's got... He's got the looks that kill. Gold. There's a, let's put a little cross in here. Since we're in the church. And, uh, I don't know, gems. Can't draw. There's no time to draw gems. Um, all right. And we'll put him in some slippers as well. He's a gnome. Right? That's the gnome. We finished the gnome. <laughs> Just put a little thing here. I don't know. Some trim. And he should have, I don't know, a bag or something. Let's give him a potion. Like a flask. Boop. 
filled with some noxious liquid. All right, it's time to draw the nave. Oh, so quickly we're gonna draw this nave. We're gonna put it on a different layer and we're going to basically just draw over what I already drew. Let's get some, some pews. Oh God, we're, 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 we have no time. We have no time, friends, we have no time. Oh, lordy. <laughs> I feel like I could have really just used the background that I already drew. But we're in a nave. I hope that reads that we're in a nave. I can make that. Let's get rid of this layer altogether. And here's, here's, here's our nude, our nude nil bog. Um, oops. Let's get both of these layers and shrink them down just a little bit. So I can... Yeah, I feel like that's all right. Um, yeah, how are we doing? It's 1027. We're one minute over, I think. I'm not sure if this is reading <laughs> the gnome, but let's just draw in some extra. Where's that bag? Where's that bag of treasure? It's over here. He wants, no, I, I want to give him the treasure. I, I really want to just fix what's happening here. just want to fix what's happening here. Okay. And uh, there's the other hand. And that would come down like that. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And then maybe we can put the amulet, the necklace here. And yeah, I feel like that's a little bit better. A little bit better clarify what's going on there and uh yeah what what else do we need to do we need to let us while we're here let's go to this other color and just add i don't know i feel like should the background should the characters have the color or should the background have the color maybe maybe we do a big old one of these And then, uh, yeah, and then, um, I don't know, I don't know, what do you guys think? Da, 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 da. It's a navy night. Everything is navy. The nave is navy. And the gnome. As usual, I'm really going over time on this series. This Fiend Folio version in particular. I might finesse just a little bit um, after I end my stream. Just, uh, just to make it a little more palatable. But this is it. This is our uh, navy nave. Maybe what I'll do is gonna I'm gonna take that, make it a little more blue, and then. I feel like that's a little bit better. And yeah, that's uh, these are our guys. Um, evil critter, what, what, what am I missing in the chat? Uh, time is an illusion, says Nick. It's Charles says, it's as though there's some time distortion going on here. Yes, evil critter says, uh, welcome evil critters. I was driving, sorry, I missed it. Well, that's, you can't, you can't uh, uh, watch a live stream and drive. We all know that. Let me just put in just a little bit that and I think we're done we're gonna we're gonna sign this baby let's just do it in the Navy uh, this is nil bog oh my god that's huge nil bog 20 minute monster and it's by me twitch TV slash Torin Atkinson. Thank you so much for joining. Um, next week is going to be the letter O. Let's take a look at the options for the letter O next week so you can all get a little sneak preview of what uh, 
what could possibly be coming? There's only two options, the Ogrelon and the Osquip from the 1981 Fiend Folio. So uh, yeah, find me on the social media, on the Facebook, on the, um, on, uh, I'm, I'm on Mastodon, I'm on Blue Sky. I don't know, I'm not going to borrow you with all those things because nobody cares. But hey, uh, thanks for coming. Have a great Sunday. And uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you next time on the internet.